Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uda Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about how to do uh, wiring of single phase induction motor. So before we start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So this is the uh, view of single single phase induction motor okay so here this is the terminal box where we can give the power supply single phase and this is the uh, starting capacitor we can say and this is the rotor and inside it a stator the body and uh, back side of it is cooling fan you can say so as you know that this is uh, actually this motor is not a self starting motor that's why it required so here we have a parts of single phase induction motor so this is the fan part this one is fan part then this is the power terminal box where we can give the power single phase power supply and this is the actually a stator where we can do the winding so basically there are two types of the winding of induction meter one is uh, running winding or we can say main winding which is wound over here winding like this and then uh, another is starting winding or we can say axillary winding as well so this is also wound on stator part and this is the squirrel case uh, rotor okay this part is actually moving and this part is fixed okay so uh, now come to the winding so as i have already told you uh, there are two types of uh, winding in the single phase induction motor one is running winding or you can say main winding and another is a starting winding or axillary winding actually running winding resistance is low as compared to starting winding so a starting cap a resistance of a starting winding is high and uh, uh, resistance of uh, running winding is low because its cross sectional area is more than this starting winding now come to its connection so here let's see over here uh, if you give the power supply as you know that this is uh, this is not a self starting motor that's why we have to provide the one capacitor so let's say this is the capacitor okay what we have to do uh, generally we have a phase and neutral supply suppose we have a source like 220 volt simply what we have to do uh, this is the main winding and uh, this is the axillary winding or you can say starting winding so simply what we have to do just to sort the or connect the one end of the running winding and one end of the starting winding and let's take out one wire so this wire is called common winding or we can say common terminal okay now another we have a like this is the phase so here we have a always we have to give the phase to phase supply to main winding or running winding okay so this is the phase term now to start the motor and self we have to add the capacitor so from here from ut terminal here we have to connect the capacitor and this will give to this v1 so here we have connected phase winding and this one is common winding so generally we have a, a terminal box like uh, here so suppose in some motors we can uh, look if you open the terminal blocks of the motor then you will find the four terminals so actually these four terminals are uh, two four main winding and two four axillary winding means two four running winding and two four starting winding so this one is v1 and v2 is suppose this is the main winding or we can say running winding we can check with the multimeters as well actually how to identify the uh, main winding and running winding with the help of uh, multimeter 
if we found the uh, resistance between two terminal is high that means this is a starting winding if we found the terminal uh, resistance is low between two terminals that means that one is running winding so in this way we can identify the uh, main winding and starting winding so here if we have a like four terminals then simply what we have to do so this is the v1 and v2 and this is un and u2 so this one is running winding and this one is phase winding oh sorry uh, auxiliary winding or we can say starting winding so simply what we have to do simply we can connect the strip like this so this one is become common terminal now we can give here neutral supply suppose this is the neutrals 220 volt supplies source is over here and over here this is the terminal of main winding or you can say running winding so we always connect phase over there so phase we have connected and uh, between it we have connected capacitor so here this is the terminal of capacitor one terminal and then other terminal it will goes to this one so actually this one is actually this is the winding like this so in this way we can connect the single phase motor power supply so simply neutral to common terminal this one is common terminal because here we have short or connected u1 and u2 terminals and here we have provided neutral and similarly here we provided phase then come to other in some cases we also found like this here we have a uh, six terminals the six terminals now in other types uh, where we got like this terminal box where we have a uh, like a uh, this one is running winding and this one is sorry this one is a starting winding and this one is running winding and uh, this is the actually phase terminal and this is the common terminal so if we have a strip like this then we can make it common like if you connect the uh, uh, suppose this is the let's say this is the running winding uh, uh, sorry uh, running uh, uh, starting winding and then this is the main winding to make the common terminal so just what we have to do we make the strip have to connect the strip like this now we got the common terminal so here we can give the neutral power supply neutral terminal so here we have a 220 volt source then this is the terminal like uh, you know always you know we have to give the phase supply to the running winding of the other terminal so let's connect the strip over here and here we can connect the phase supply and now between this other end of the starting winding and uh, then running winding between this we can connect the capacitor this one capacitor so in this way we can also do the wiring mm -hmm. and other type of terminal like this in some cases we also found the like this three terminal only because they have internally uh, joined the like uh, common terminals internally they have already joined the common terminals suppose this is the main winding and this is the auxiliary winding so they have already sort inside the motor and uh, take out the terminal like this three terminals so only at a terminal box so in this case uh, let's see how to wire it how to give the power connection simply what we have to do at common terminal we have to provide the neutral then this is the running winding and this one is the main winding uh, sorry uh, starting winding so what we have to do simply at this con at this terminal we have to provide the connection of phase and this common neutral and between it we have to connect the capacitor so this one capacitor so in this way we can do the wiring or power connection to the single phase induction motor so hope you guys understand about basically how to do power connection of single phase induction motor okay 
so thank you for watching this video so please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video